Hello and welcome back to my channel. We are finally checking out some Espa track videos. I know they released some of these for their previous comeback last year as well, and I've actually never seen those videos either. But for their newest one with Armageddon, we're going to check these out. I've already heard these songs. I've reacted to the album. I love the hell out of the album. I'm full on hardcore Espa mode. I think Espa since last year has been so hitting their stride and they just continue to even the songs that I like am taking it back on a little like Supernova and I'm like I don't think I like this. I've completely come around on. I listen to Supernova now like routinely even when I went to the Itzy concert here in Seattle just last night we were on the train coming back and someone that doesn't know K-pop was like are they are they the group that that do supernova so even they are hearing this song somehow so they're just firing on all cylinders it's espa time all day every day and i'm just digging it i really love this group and i also really want to get into the smcu the sm culture universe videos that i actually haven't seen before the first of which came out when espa debuted three years ago i haven't seen any of them and would like to just do a long video where we just check out all of those because i hear they're awesome they're high budget I was first just turned off from those because I didn't dig the whole like novice, like virtual idol kind of alter ego thing that uh, Espo was going for at first, but I would still love to check that out just because I've got into the group so, so much more since then. If you want some extra Espa content, we've done a bunch of it over on Patreon and Fourth Wall, including a whole concert reaction that I did over on there for their like sync line concert, as well as their sync road variety show that we've done as well. Uh, over on there, including live stages, album reactions, and such. So let's get to this. We're doing Licorice, Long Chat, and Live My Life. Long Chat is one of my favorite songs off the album. I'd say it's like Long Chat, Bahama, and Set the Tone are probably my favorite B-sides off of it. So let's check it out. Starting off with Licorice. <laughs> What the f The Cookie Monster. Bro, if they do a... I, roll it back. I'll find the edit. Roll back the tape. When I reacted to Supernova, I said, why does this feel like Power Rangers? If they're doing... Oh, they're doing it. This is so good. I'm living right now. As a kid that grew up on Power Rangers in like the mid 90s, I used to get up in front of the TV when the intro would play, bucket head to the intro to that, and I'd do punches and kicks my four year old self to the music. I was very cool. I was a very cool four or five year old. <laughs> Are they going to turn into a Megazord? They have to. There needs to be an Espo Megazord. <laughs> she looked like she was ha like she was on the precipice of laughing. I feel like I'm on acid right now, and I love it. Well. 
No, he's just it, it, luring you in. Don't fall for his tricks. Ah, oh, Winter, what are you doing? <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> that video was so perfect. I had a feeling when we were watching Supernova, I was like, for some reason, this is giving me some like classic kind of cheesy, but in a very endearing way, Power Rangers kind of vibe. And where we have this kind of like alter ego, the evil Espa coming in, uh, it, it felt so much like that. And then this just followed that concept completely just to a T. Um, so I, I really love that. And I know that these aren't giving you the entire songs. They're like the track videos that are teases prior to the album coming out. But this video was so damn cool. And yeah, uh, it, it definitely looks like a, a Cookie Monster kind of color. You have a lot of those like Cookie Monster ice cream flavors now to where they dye it blue. But is that supposed to be like a mint chocolate flavor? Which, by the way, I know that that is like the the biggest like are you a fan or are you not a fan amongst like idols and what people talk about all the time i am firmly on the mint chocolate side i love mint chocolate it's so so good i can't really comprehend people that don't like it people that think it tastes like toothpaste i don't understand that and also i love to have my dessert while also having fresh breath but also i'm on the side of really not caring so much about cilantro so you can't you can't win them all kind of thing but that video was so sick Loved it, loved it so much. Long chat is up next. Also, also this enemy, ah, just the money, the money. Oh, uh, these are so wacky. <laughs> She looks adorable. What? Her styling is just so perfect. This is perfect. Wow, this would give you no inclination for what the Armageddon video would bring. Popcorn? One thing that I'm happy with just songs like this and also like the second half of the Armageddon album is such a different tone than when they set the tone in the first half of the album that Espa has like started really really out of the gate with Black Mamba, kind of in a girl crushy way, but they themselves off camera and just not on stage are so unbelievably adorable that I like that they're harnessing this cuteness energy in a lot of their songs too. And they do birth they do both so so very well. They do both of it so so well. <laughs> Someone was seriously on drugs making this. They did a great job. Winter makes me want to die in this video. She's way too cute. They built like a Mr. Potato Head corn husk. The front is sent him back to his home. Wow. 
God, both of these videos have had amazing animated moments in two distinctive styles. I don't know what this one would exactly be. The first one was very like 90s anime and I loved it. I don't know exactly what would you you'd call this style. about this video it's so weird <laughs> launch pad technician huh. what the fuck so you mean i'm a star right <sighs> mm. <laughs> yeah this is a this is the kind of trip I like. Also, they've been changing the logo every time. I do like the new logo that they had for Armageddon, but even in the previous video with Licorice, they had like their mint choco, like melted look for their logo. And here it's a little bit of popcorn. Really, uh, really taking the time on these track videos too. And just the effort is, is very obvious. Oh, 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 I'm playing the same one over again. Live my life. Live my life is up next and our final one. These have been so very good. I like how unserious everything is. I could see this one being more wholesome. <laughs> it's a short one too. It's only two minutes. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Okay, I was uh, I was thinking this was, I think, the last song off of the album. This one is the more kind of pop, punk, rocky-ish type song. Like some of these shots, some of these location changes are just so crazy. This is like the budget for most groups official comeback. Very DIY feel. Oh, it's so short. This one is so short. Oh, this was this the last one they released? Oh, I thought they were going to like lead into like the tease of Armageddon. Kind of in all these videos, they have had this look of, of comets falling at some point, it seems like in each of the videos, kind of hinting and foreshadowing that. Yeah, and this one, even with that same like DIY look, has this scrapbooky like feel of their logo drawn in. So cool. I mean, this this whole release, I think, for Armageddon was done so perfectly. And um, starting off with a song that I didn't even think that I liked at first in Supernova, and now I, I so very much love it. I still don't know if I like the direction they went with in terms of the music video with the song. It's so odd. I feel like I love the song and the music video separate from each other, but not together, if that makes sense. Um, yeah. Uh, I feel like I'd stand by that because like even towards the end of the song, the choreography just gets 
so awesome and we're just greeted to like those static like ai animated images of the girls and i would much rather see the the choreography at that point more than anything um so i i like i love them separate from each other but just not together but i think this whole release was fantastic it makes me regret not seeing espo when they were when they went to la last year the only reason i didn't see them is because they came like it was either like five days after or five days before KCON, and I wasn't flying back to LA so soon like that. So I did skip it, but hopefully they tour the US um, very, very soon again, because they're one of those groups that now I, I desperately want to see because I'm just, I've become a much, much, much bigger fan of theirs. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this with me. Like I said earlier, if you want to see some extra content from Espa and for me, please check out my Patreon and my fourth wall. You could see their album reactions over on there as well as plenty of variety. I want to do a lot more variety of theirs too. There was one they did, I think last year, that was kind of like a sitcom that I just came across that I would really love to see. It just looked like it was built for me as someone of the 90s that grew up on sitcoms uh, and we have lots of live performances and a full concert on there as well so yeah thank you guys so much for watching these with me and i'll see you next time